One of the biggest points of friction we see in organizations and in schools and in school districts is with communication, of course. And when we are so involved as leaders in a portfolio and we're sending out a mass email um, or a mass communication and we assume people will understand what we're trying to tell them because we're so involved we have blinders on so a good rule of thumb is to assume that your neighbor would understand what you have to write okay are you using language that's simple enough that you're not getting caught up in the jargon of your portfolio and you're using simple language for everyone to understand even a grade five student okay that is the rule of thumb and to make sure that you're connecting the dots for people Make sure that you're adding the dates, that you're adding the areas, the locations, the, some details that for you are simple, but for other people may be essential in decoding your message. I can't tell you how many times we've wasted hours and energy trying to decode uh, a memo that has been sent out district-wide because the person writing the memo is so involved in her portfolio that it's clear to them but for us, we're missing critical pieces of information and we're forced connecting the dots and creating our own scenarios. And often it's the wrong scenario, thus causing more friction and um, more hardships. So just remember that the next time you send out a memo, keep it simple, make sure your neighbor could understand what you have to say. And um, hopefully that will reduce a lot of friction. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a comment below, which will offer you access to free resources, free coaching videos. And, um, and you know, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.